I'm Rob Friedman, uh, Foreign Policy Digest, and we're here with Jeff Guerin, and we're uh, very happy that he's going to talk with us for a few minutes about his, uh, his findings and about sort of the uh, landscape for the upcoming election. Um, I'm curious, in light of your, your research that American voters are really concerned about the economy and, and America's dependence on foreign oil, do you see this as potentially creating an opening for actually making the case that energy security is a national security issue and, and really hammering that point home? I think it does. I think it, it, it's it, that there are a lot, there's a lot going on here. Uh, this whole view um, makes the case uh, uh, for uh, the, the need for a new energy policy much more powerful, but it also makes the uh, case for uh, the need for a new foreign policy much more powerful. So I think uh, from a democratic perspective, it helps Senator Obama in a variety of ways. It, uh, it means we've got a different kind of uh, agenda than we've had in past elections. It's no, not, no longer single-mindedly focused on, on fighting terrorism. In fact, the, the public doesn't want a president who's going to be thinking only about that. It's an important uh, for many voters, but not the only thing that's important. And they think that President Bush had kind of a tunnel vision and uh, they, don't, they, don't, they don't want to do that again. But in terms of making the case for the kind of real change to uh, energy policy that Senator Obama represents, um, uh, the, you can argue this not just in terms of the pocketbook, but in terms of our national security. And it really opens people's minds to having a change candidate uh, far more than other circumstances might have. Right. Um, the other question that I had for you was, uh, you talk about a lot about the sweet spot, sort of the uh -huh. balance between uh, keeping America safe and... Uh, well, it's really, uh, the, the sweet spot is the finding the right uh, balance between national, uh, between military and diplomacy. Right. And there really is a feeling that in the um, Bush administration, uh, the balance was, was misdrawn, that it was, that uh, President Bush was inclined to be uh, military first, military always, uh, uh, not very much on, uh, on diplomacy. And um, so that creates a, an important opening for the Democrats. There have been times in the past when people were uh, concerned that Democrats drew the balance in the wrong place as well, that, that, uh, that, the, that the Democrats would be too reluctant uh, to use um, military force when it made sense to do so, but the ex but there is now um, uh, a, 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 an opening here that Democrats haven't had in a long time to say, you know what, we really represent the common sense balance. Do you, do you do you sense that that balance is historically is that somewhere that somewhere where voters have been, or do you think it's a recalibration? after eight years of, of the Bush administration's policy? Well, I definitely think it's a different place uh, today than it was uh, in the immediate wake of 9-11. That I think in, in, in public opinion terms, uh, there was a much greater sense of, of uh, you know what, given what happened to us, we ought to shoot first and ask questions later. Now, seeing the consequences of that and President Bush's management of that approach to foreign policy and, mili and, and, uh, and national security, they want a president who's going to ask the questions first uh, and uh, not always uh, rely on unilateral military action as the best way to secure America. Uh, they want somebody who understands the value of working with our allies, working through established international institutions, and um, of course they want somebody who's going to you know, do what's necessary to protect our security uh, when it comes to that. But they don't want that to be the only tool in the toolkit. Great. Well, thank you very okay, much for thank taking you. the time to talk to us. Good. Pleasure. Thanks.